Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome back to Let's Play Spy Fox Dry Cereal. Where we last left off, we made a whole lot of progress. We snuck on board the SS Deadweight, we danced with uh, the mysterious cat Russian Blue, who's apparently working with William the Kid to destroy the world, milk supply and whatnot. All this stuff, and we basically ended up, because we put, we, we danced with Russian Blue, and put um our little spy mosquito fella on not not for actually mosquito uh, but uh <laughs> on Russian blue or put it in, in her bag that we were able to tail her to the secret hideout. So I'm pretty sure we just found if we, if we just found uh. A suit. I wonder what time it is. A this <laughs> nectar of the goat's jumpsuit might be just the thing I need to get the jump on William the Kid. And I'm sure that wearing this now, we'll be able to go through that weird sensor that we weren't able to go before. To take this jumpsuit off. I think like... whomever this belonged to had fleas. I think this was... Yeah, this here is the passageway back to... The, the 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 town town square or whatever the brush strokes of a real van gogh painting are vibrant and distinctive these strokes look like they're having a stroke oh yeah okay we saw this i should arrest this painting for being a forgery of course it'll probably claim it was framed i feel like there's probably some sort of trick here because we something like that every day i'm not sure what whistler's goat it couldn't be Yellow, yellow, yellow. I'm not sure what. I'm not sure if these uh, have any. It's a famous Mona Gota painting, but what's it doing here? I'm not sure if these have anything to do with what we're doing now. If that, if that makes sense. Hmm. American Gothic. This is such an obvious fake. Who does kid think he's kidding? <laughs> it says Grande Fromaggio. Interesting. Clothed goat descending staircase. What? Not sure I see it. I think I can sort of see a staircase. <laughs> if you turn this painting upside down, you'd have clothed goat ascending staircase. But you are, Spy Fox. All right, let's uh head back in. Can you, can you try to remember what those those buttons. I'm not sure. Like I'm wondering, like if, if, in this scenario, would they actually? Hmm. They, they've got my curiosity. I guess peaked. every hero needs a uniform. This just isn't the one I pictured myself in. <laughs> right, so now that we got this baby, we can go in here. Uh oh! Someone's coming. Oh look at that! I better hide. Uh oh. Interesting hairdo, Miss R Miss so Miss that's Blue. The dastardly William the Kid that everyone's so worked up about. Miss Blue, take this piece of paper from the easel in my office. It has the location of the punch card written on it. You must destroy it. That punch card is the only thing that can disarm the milky weapon of destruction now. Right away, you are Imperial Goatney. I've deposited the money in your bank account. Thanks for all your help. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Call me anytime. I need to get my hands on that punch card he mentioned. I just quickly look, look, take a look at the English, the um, the British version of this, and it does seem that Russian Blue has has a more distinct kind of Russian accent, like a Russian sounding accent, in that. Whereas here she kind of has um, like like she has some sort of like accent, like, like I'm not, it's definitely like I think just like a, I don't know, she's just she, I, I don't know how to how to how to describe it, like it's not really indicative of a. It sounds like an, Amer like an American accent, but just a bit thicker, sort of like, like, a, like a very weird thing. I don't know. 
All right, so let's uh, I'm sure that because of these uh, conveyor belts are going down, if I show you up. Yeah, that's it. This is going to be more difficult than it looks. But here. This looks exactly like that diagram over in the locker room. Now I need to move these levers to the positions shown in the diagram. Let's go, let's go back and look at it then. What? Oh, that was in here, wasn't it? Yes, okay. So it's right, 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 down, down. I've made an informed decision to take this uniform off. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Right, 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 down, down. I mean, instead of like wor wor getting worked up over the color, just, just isn't the one I pictured myself in. Remember the directions. Everyone loves a big milk carton. If I don't remember the diagram, I can always go back to the locker room to check it again. Oh. Not do that. Not do it. The sooner I can get those conveyor belts moving up, the sooner I can ride them to the top. I think I remember the diagram well enough to get these levers in the same position. Wait, so I wonder if it's actually something where like the, the levers are actually in different places in the other room. Is like the actual layout's different? So it's No need to keep this uniform on. Purple, so purple, gray, red, right. Purple, gray, red, right. Green, blue, down. I guess every hero needs a uniform. This just isn't the one I picked. Purple, gray, myself. red, green, blue. Purple, gray, red, green, blue. Oh, what? If I don't remember the diagram, I can always go back to the locker room to check it again. Oh, no, for, for some reason, I, I like had these on the left instead of the right. Right? Wait, what? Is that not? Ah, oh, okay. I did, did, like there was a little click no like, clicking noise, but other than that, it didn't really have any. Like nothing really showed that we, like, like Spy Fox didn't say something to himself. The sight of Kid's diabolical milk carton curdles my stomach. He must I feel you. Stopped. I I hate. I I seriously think like, have I been saying Spy Fox? Because I I still I keep thinking that I, I'm I'm saying Spidey or Spider Man or something like that. This must be some sort of tram to take people around in Kid's Fortress. Who? Goat milk? It looks like a billboard. I wonder why there's a billboard in the middle of a secret fortress. I wonder why there's a billboard in the middle of a secret fortress. I'm gonna... I'm gonna be like in development or something. Let's uh, head back down though, because I'm curious to see what was that door there. Ooh. This must be where William the Kid keeps his controls for the Milky Weapon of Destruction. I the think the, the door was open. I've made it here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, good to hear from you. What's up? I'm in William the Kid's control room. The launching panel for the Milky Weapon of Destruction is right here. Great. Now all you'll have to do is find the missing punch card so you can disarm the Milky Weapon of Destruction. Right. That shouldn't be too difficult. Spy Fox out. All right, so we need to find the punch card. If you remember, when we looked at Mr. Utterly's stomach, I'm pretty sure this was like... This little diagram was like etched in there. I need to get that punch card in this control panel in order to disarm Kid's milky weapon of destruction. Luckily, the key and, the, and whatnot are already there. The 
the sight of Kid's diabolical milk carton curdles my stomach. He must be stopped. Let's go. Head back up. Supply your local carrier. Uh, support your local carrier. Little nog. Good old this thing. What? Anything here? Can't, can't click on that. There's the going around. Head, head inside. Uh oh, hello, people. Oh, can I just you know, walk on by? Oh. Where do you think you're going? Oh, hi. I'm from the accounting office. I was asked to count all the offices. I need to get into that room and make sure it's really an office. <laughs> if you're from the accounting office, you know perfectly well that this is William the Kid's office. No one but the Grand Goathead himself is allowed in there. Oh, right. Of What's course. going on here? How silly of me. That's the office that really counts. Sorry to bother you. I wonder how they got... Trick worked up on all this weird business. I need to get into kid's office and take a look around. Those guards are in ready position. Those guards are in ready position. Right, so luckily we have a device that will let us. Here's where I keep my spy gadget. We have this it's... coin here. That should, um, like what was Spy Fox gonna say? Uh, this is like the distraction coin, if you remember. Oh wait. I would really feel like it would really suck if like you didn't. It's a spy trap. If someone didn't bring the um, it's a spy. like if you like forgot one of the items or something, or like didn't get the items out of the vending machine and just had to like go all the way back from here. There's one sound the ear can hear better than any other: the sound of falling money. They should get a tickle from this nickel. <laughs> nobody wants to be one, no, nobody wants to be the one. Beautiful. Hey! What happened? We're trapped! He tricked us! This isn't good at all! Run up! Good for me. Sorry, folks. I'm on a mission. You must be one dedicated accountant! You, you got that right. Seriously? You and I will count you. Know. I just know our supervisor is going to bring this up in our annual review. I'm afraid you'll be hanging out there for a while. I will count you as a very bad person, ma'am. Oh, this must be Kid's secret volcano office. I should take a look around. What are the color of a volcano office? This must be the paper William the Kid mentioned. Oh yeah. Now, can I get the location of that punch card? Hmm. Well, what? And he's like, it's probably just under, underneath, but we, I guess we can just draw. I'm not sure if it really matters too much. Like, what, what we draw here. <laughs> just start a little bit high, but. Little dog there. Some nice green grass. Has a very very crayon crayon feeling to it, like it's a quite nice. Edward 
would be silly not to snoop around kid's office. I'll come back here later. That's pretty cool that you could actually like that actually like saves it right there. That's it's really neat. Like is, for a game that came out in nineteen ninety seven, that's no. really surprised me. Let's uh, lift, lift this paper up. Why it's just the eraser, I guess. I don't want to disturb any possible clues. I'll leave this paper here. What? Don't want to. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Yeah, these are here are like crackers, aren't they? Keys and safe cracker kit. That's not going to do me any good. It's a night vision shoe. That's not going to do me any good. You don't want to mess any. He said he doesn't want to mess up any clues. I leave this paper here. There could be a clue on it. What do you mean, ma'am? I was drawing that little dog thing and I never got anything like, like, like that. Like it seemed like I, I could just like draw on anything. Red, blue, is that, is that it? Blue goat, yellow, red, blue. Don't want to disturb any possible clues. I'll leave this paper here. What does that mean? Blue goat, yellow, red, blue. Bill, oh, could that possibly be? If you go back to the painting area, where all those paintings were. Oh, that I fell. I thought I passed, passed up my thing. Yep. Blue goat, yellow, red, blue. Or, or was it red, yellow, blue? We'll figure it out. It's pretty cool they actually get the. Uh, uh, see, was, was the ladder there before? Like, I, I just noticed it. Oh, that was pretty cool. Like, decision to take this uniform off so obviously it's not actually like being rendered or anything but when, when spy fox was over there he could actually see um his reflection in the mirror blue goat is this it the blue goat aha this is quite a collection now that's a button of a different color red yellow blue this looks exactly like the blue goat painted by Thomas Gainsborough, the noted British naturalist in 1770. But this painting doesn't have the same tonal reserve and panache. Ha! Uh -huh. A secret wall safe. What an original hiding place. Yeah, I'm not sure if I ever... Huh, that's, um, some... that's a puzzle I, d I really don't... I'm not sure if I figured that... If I would have figured that one out back in the day. But I did beat the game, so I'm not. Hmm, I'm not really sure. That's that's pretty cool. Ah yes, the Swiss-made titanium DBR five thousand safe. This could be a challenge. I shall return, and when I do, I will open this safe. Uh, oh, wait, let's um, let's look back, look at it again, because we do have that safe cracker sure thing. Glad I remembered the this season safe cracker ship should do the trick. Hmm. <laughs> The heck? Did 
three five nine. Okay, now for the tricky part. This seems to be working. Three. I wonder if it's a one more to go. Three five. Wait. Because normally you just like pass over the set, the second one once. I'm in. Sometimes I amaze even myself. Those must be the punch cards. Which one do I need? Oh what? Which one do you need? There's that, you know, we did see this. Oh man, was I still like... Was I supposed to be I looking? The safe. I don't want anyone to suspect that it's been tampered with. What if I ask Monkey Penny? Please stand by. Spy Fox, thanks for checking in. How's it going? Never better, Monkey Penny. I'm just trying to figure out how to disarm that sinister milky weapon of destruction. Mr. Utterly mentioned something about needing a missing piece to disarm it. If I can find out more, I'll let you know. Hmm. So we did see like a like a diagram of the Usually, I wouldn't wear somebody else's clothes. But punch card in Mr. Utterly, Utterly's belly. But obviously, that it could have just been. I could have like, it just been a generic thing that didn't actually have the right code on it. Oh, well, this is. The Putting a super villain. I better put this disguise back on. The wrong, wrong way. I need to get that punch card in this control panel in order to disarm Kid's milky weapon of destruction. Hmm. Theory, I wonder if I could... Because I do want to, like, actually try to, like... Play, it, play the game like, kind of like fairly, I guess, and like not just like kind of wing it or guess. I'm actually just gonna go back and take a, take a look at Mr. Utterly. Just to speed things up, I was gonna to, to skip these little. I better leave this door unlocked in case I need to get back in here later. Just pressing the escape button just kind of skips you back to the see, skips little transitions. Let's go get back this. Let's get this extra again. Extra, extra gum again. I wonder if that's why they they didn't make you they didn't just throw it away because like they wanted you to be able to look at Mr. Utterly again. Hey, you wouldn't mind if I use this X-ray gum on you again, would you? I don't even know why you need gum. I find that a nice wad of cud does the trick for me. Gum makes me dizzy, and I. <laughs> So I sad. If Mr. Utterly has to take four antacid tablets when his stomachs are upset. But um, psh. Without that punch card, I won't be able to disarm the milky weapon of destruction. I'm not sure what. Is that supposed to be a letter? It looks like I need to find that punch card. It just kind of looks like a like a dash, like a line, sort of. Okay. Rise and shine, buddy. Faiths and I have all here, yep. there it is. Oh, on the right there. This one might be the one I'm looking for. Oh, that's just put, 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 putting it back. Okay. Let's um. Let's go. Let's go test it out. I guess every hero needs a uniform.
You have a lot of time if you just... Actually, that's it. You can save a lot of time just skipping the, uh, the transitions. So people are... Very annoyed. Oh no, wait. This is the wrong... Wrong way. The, uh, the actual the punch card things... This way. I hope this is the right punch card. I love like, this, the nonchalant, it's so, it's cool look on Spyfox, Spyfox's face. Smelly fate. Now I need to go get that goat. Not so fast, my crafty friend. You may think you have outfoxed me by disarming my milky weapon of destruction, but I'm afraid it's too late to save your precious cows. It's over, Billy. Give yourself up. Don't ever call me Billy. <laughs> it's William. And it's not over yet, my foxy nemesis. When I pull this lovely lever, the cow's stables will become completely flooded with milk. And that will be the end of the dairy world as we know it. He's a jealous... Jealous all the cows are getting all the attention. <laughs> That is pretty messed up. Are they, are they like swimming like... They look like they're swimming like a duck or something. <coughs> Man, this is really rich. Kid, you're kidding yourself if you think I'm going to let you get away with this. It's too late. And now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Fox, I have a flight to catch on my giant metallic getaway blimp. Where I will I'm evil. my plan to take over the world, filling it with my delicious goat byproducts. Delicious? You must be insane. Insane, you say? You're the crazy one. If you think you can save the cows. Adios. I would be interested in trying and goat milk. Finding this secret passageway to the stables. You'll need it. Oh yeah. Stupid door. Thanks for leaving a little clue, kid. Now all I have to do is find that ascot. Pretty sure this, this game is the this is the game that this game is where I learned the word ascot as well. Which is a refers to that sort of tie like thing, like before, before ties were before there was like the necktie, there was the ascot basically. With that ascot sticking out, the secret door is not so secret anymore. <laughs> very, very, <laughs> bit of a failure of you, Mr. Kid. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That's Kid's ascot. This must be the secret passageway to the stables where Kid is holding the cows. I'd better hurry. It seems that there's a kid himself to get away. Like, that oh. is one big chicken. I was expecting to see him kind of stuck there like, oh man, I can't get out because my, my entire body just st stuck to this door. Nog. Hello, sir. Hello there. Puny puppy-like creature, you are probably intimidated by my rippling muscles. Do you happen to know the ways of a cockadoodle foo warrior? Cockadoodle foo, you say? It sounds familiar. I can use this to gather information about cockadoodle foo and that funky chicken. Hmm. 
You call those muscles? They look more like spaghetti noodles caught in the rain. Looks can be deceiving, tough guy. Fuck a doodle foo. Who, who have we talked to about that? Please stand by. Bye, Fox. Thanks for checking in. What's the situation? Things were going fine until I ran into this gigantic rooster who seems intent on fighting me. You're going to have to ruffle some feathers, Spy Fox. Ruffle some feathers. I hope you like pretzels, because when I'm done with you, you're going to look like one. Pretzels, schmetzels. Your scare tactics won't work on me. Uh, didn't the, um, didn't, oh, was it Bee Bear? The, um, was like the hostess of that cantina? Didn't she, um, didn't she, like, do some sort of karate or something like that? Okay, I didn't mean to. I need to. Keep... Let's head back. I hate to be caught out. Right. What's the story with the gravity challenged card player over there? Oh, honey, Duh. watch out for him. That's Mr. Big P, the local mud baron. He's a notorious go fish player. <laughs> the only thing he ever loses is his temper. You know, uh, this, this man, B, this chicken. Do you know anything about cockadoodle foo? Well, I dabbled in a professional career as a cockadoodle foo fighter for a few years. Everything I learned came from a book. A book? Yeah, you can have it if you're interested. It's all too violent for me now. I've moved to a more spiritual phase of life. <laughs> well, th thank you very much, ma'am. Nice. Thanks, B. You so may this book? have just saved the planet from this dairy drought. It's drachmas, Greek money. With this book, we will master the arts of a. Uh, we'll we'll uh, turn into Keanu Reeves and we'll read it, and then we'll realize that we know. I know Cockadoodle Foo. I'm gonna call the video there, folks. And next time, we'll see if we can fight this chicken at his own game. And, uh... See if we can foil William the Kid's diabolical plans. So, till next time, liquid out.